Good evening everyone and welcome back to my another video lesson for you guys. This video is going to be a tutorial video in which I will tell you how you can easily reduce the background noise when, uh, from your real-time audio, which means that you can remove this noise not from your recording, not uh, with the help of Audacity or something, but uh, you can reduce this noise in the real time, maybe on your live podcast, live, live streamings, live online chat rooms, online classrooms, you can reduce the noise in real time. I think this software works tremendously well and I hope you're gonna like it. So without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, I'll have to share my screen with you. So I'll first share my screen here, ta-da and ta-da. Uh, so I hope now you guys can see my screen. Um, as you can see, you actually need to download three things, okay? The first one is going to be a noise suppression filter, which is what we call VST plugin. And uh, you can download it. Uh, it could be from like uh, 32 bits or 64 bit. It depends on your computer. Um, you, um, like my computer is 64 bit, so I will uh, download 64 bit. And the another thing you have to download is gonna be the VST plugin. This one, okay? This one here, VST host, uh, 64 bit, okay? Now the third thing you have to download is going to be this one, the virtual audio cable. Uh, this will allow the VST host to, to send its audio, I mean VST plug uh, host audio to this cable and then you will use this cable as your main source of audio. Okay, so yeah, you have to download, it could be, uh, I mean, if you're using the Windows one, you can download Windows one. If you're using the Mac one, you can download the Mac version. So I have already downloaded all of them. Just wait me a moment. Okay, so these are all of them. Okay, this is virtual audio cable. This one is VST host and this one is the VST plugin. Let's extract them one by one. Okay, this one is extracted. Now, oopsie daisy. Now the VST host. Okay, this one is extracting too. And now the last one, V uh, virtual audio cable. So now we have uh, we have extracted all of them. So first, what we have to do first, we have to uh, install the driver of the virtual audio cable. You just need to double click on that and install the drivers. It will install them in your computer. I've already done that, so it is showing me remove driver. I don't need to download. I don't need to install it. It is already installed in my computer. Okay. So now this is the first thing you need to do. Now the second thing you have to do is gonna, uh, you have to open VST host, okay? Uh, by the way, I'm already using VST host right now. This is uh, the second one. Let me remove it first of all. Okay. Uh, just a moment, please. It will take a bit moment here. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to go to file, then go to new plugin. And then find your plugin there. You can find from here, just go to VST, just find the location and double click on this one. I'm not gonna click it because I've already done it. Okay, you just need to double click on that. And once you're done, then go to devices, wave, and uh, then uh, select input as your microphone. My microphone is Samsung Q2U, and it could, I mean, your microphone could be something else, Samsung S Snowball, Samsung Go Mic, or something else maybe. And uh, then you have to select the output port, which is going to be our virtual audio cable. Okay, you can find it here. You can select MME, uh, you can do exactly like mine because it works perfectly for me. So we selected and then we clicked A. Now when we are done with it, you can you can go and uh, go and try to play with the settings. This setting works best for me. 
if you want you can reduce it you can uh, increase it actually this is how much the voice is your microphone gonna pick up okay so for me minus 5.2 db works best so I have uh, selected that if uh, something else works for you then go for it so this is it what you have to do and I think you're all okay well uh, another thing that you should do go to your sound settings and uh, now to connect it with your uh, with your devices such as uh, with your software such as Skype or other softwares you have to go to recording and you have to find cable output and make it default make it your default uh out default device okay and default communication device so that every of your software such as skype qq or uh, zoom any of those softwares select uh, cable output or the virtual cable as your main source of the microphone and uh, this is over the real microphone you don't have to select this one but you have to select the virtual audio cable and then for the playback you can just keep the same i mean right now i'm using the ronin r870 uh, earphones you maybe you have a different one then okay so when you're all done just to go to your skype and select virtual audio cable as your main microphone and it will detect it and you will be ready to go so now let's try to test this uh, test this out and let's see if it works or not. So what I will be doing, I'm going to play uh, music for you guys. Okay, this is going to be a non-copyright music because I don't want any strike on my uh, channel. So let's try to play it. I'm playing it right now. Okay, the audio that you hear right now is from my, uh, um, that VST host plugin, okay? Now I'm going to put this, uh, my mobile phone a little away from the microphone, and uh, I believe you can hear it, uh, maybe a little bit. Now I will go to my, uh, I mean, I will turn off this VST plugin and check that how much my, how much of this voice, it's, uh, how much this sound it's picking up. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. So now I think you guys know the difference that how much voice and how much reduction it's doing. And I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you never miss our future videos. So that's all. Thank you very much.